Welcome back. It is week two of my Get Lean in 2019, and I'm going to give you a lowdown on what happened last week and what I'm going to be changing next week. So let's get into it. It was a okay week. The main issue being the back injury that I suffered from last week kind of continued into this one. So for example, I mentioned last week that I wanted to start getting more steps in, which I just struggled to do because my back was so tight and stiff that five minutes of walking and uh, I had to lie down for like 30 minutes. So that wasn't the best. I went to go see the chiropractor. He told me it wasn't anything long-term. He said literally like because I jerked up, because you know the story better by now, I'll tell it again, but I've jerked up. My brain like sends a signal to say that like that was a bit aggressive and we could have hurt ourselves there so apparently then like everything just kind of locks up and gets tight in that area just to kind of protect yourself from it so yeah that that kind of happened but I went and got it kind of massaged out got some exercises to do we've been working on them throughout the whole week and now it has locked up that like, there's some sensitivity there but I think that could be down to just purely because my back was so tight so it's like like t- walking around like tensing a bicep for like I think I had it like five days. So like if you walk around and tense that bicep for five days, like that is gonna hurt for like a long time. So I think that's just what I'm feeling now is just that last niggle of just like the kind of the muscle ache. So that's kind of all done now. I hit the gym twice last week, kind of avoided lower body stuff, especially around like the midsection. Um, I've got a few like single leg exercises at the minute, um, just to kind of work on balancing the muscles out and the strength out and um, to build on to bigger lifts so I had to kind of draw that back and just did kind of double leg stuff because I found it, uh, there was a big issue with kind of shifting weight from one side to the other and that's when like it kind of aggravated my back so yeah double leg stuff um, but got in there got hit some like upper body workouts just kind of kept kind of it wasn't like full weight either because I didn't want to kind of lift up some 30 odd kilogram dumbbells and end up leaning back on bench and boom back on again it's all about kind of preserving myself so that I can keep going rather than going in there and just trying to smash it because like I say if I walked in there and damaged it again then potentially I could have been out for two three longer weeks so yeah just getting in there kind of keeping things ticking over and then now I just got back from the gym a couple of hours ago felt completely fine uh, was hitting like the leg workouts as normal um, I do like full body workouts, so there's always a bit of legs, a bit of upper body in there anyway, so I alternate them on the superset, do one kind of upper, one lower exercise, and superset them in, and yeah, completely fine, was hitting it really hard, and uh, it was good, it was a good workout, so we moved from there, um, obviously week two, I think either last week, um, I think I didn't actually update you on what I got down to last week, so I started off two weeks ago, 100.5 kilograms. The average at the end of last week was 99 kilograms, and randomly enough, it's come down exactly a kilogram again this week, and now down at 98 kilograms. So when I'm saying an average, what I like to do is, I like to weigh myself every day at the same time, so I always get up, kind of go for a wee, don't drink any water before then and just pull the scales straight out of like at the side of the toilet so I can literally we pull the scales out, check my weight. Um, it gets recorded into this app, um, which is called My Weight um, on my iPhone. Um, but you can see here, and I'll just show you on camera there, um, that it gets plotted every day. So you can even you can see there it's constantly up and down, and and it's the reason why I like to record it every day because. Your body's, your body's like weird. So like one day if you do like a few more steps then you might be a little bit heavier. One day if you eat like a different type of carb sauce or a different type of protein, you might be a little bit lighter. And it mixes up like this. And that's just like your body kind of starting to fall. People get so hung up about half a pound here, like a kilogram, well, fair enough, kilograms probably big, but half a pound here, like a pound here. And people get like upset or like demoralized that they're like they've put on maybe like a pound and stuff but like not getting like vulgar but literally like you can go to the toilet and like that could be gone so don't get upset about it and if you are not a person that becomes super obsessive like I know people like in my family that try 
they just get too a bit too crazy with weighing themselves and if you told them to weigh themselves every day they get too addicted to it and they end up not eating anything because they just want to see it like going down 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 whereas if you if you're quite you know, the wrong word in uh, that we're going to use there but if you if you are the kind of person that will be able to do that then just weigh yourself every morning every day record it in an app like that like i said that one's called my weight um record it every day and then what i do is at the end of the week on a sunday just add up all the weights and divide it by seven and that gives you an average and that's a better number to go by uh, it's gonna it's gonna be more stable as you come down whereas if people weigh themselves like once every monday then yeah it's just it can get a little bit messy because you know that sunday you may have as sundays do you know it's the weekend you may have gone out and had a little bit of nice food or rich food and that may just cause you to store a little bit more body water weight and you end up with a high reading and you get upset not good so the average is pretty good um if you are certainly looking at losing weight and building muscle as well because again it can work the same way on the way up you know your body works in strange ways so it's a good thing that i employed i employ it with a few clients too so give it a try let me know what you think um moving on so we've covered covered kind of diet um diet wise uh, i was on 2400 calories uh, with a decent amount of carbs it was something like 300 grams of carbs so i kind of no issues with the amount of food that i'm eating and that is in a deficit still um because I, i'm kind of i started, well, I started off with like 100 kilograms so i have like a lot of calories even on a deficit to eat um so that's been really good so this week i have upped my game because even though i'm dropping that one kilogram per week i think i i was reading like some articles on weight loss and stuff and honestly like because i am a coach and i work with clients online i want to be able to give them advice on on a broad spectrum of things so when i see someone online i personally might give it a go even though i would never recommend it to a client so there's one thing that i saw from um, a guy that i follow on instagram and he was talking about kind of a four or five week like intense um kind of fat loss diet um and he, he's like a, he's a really good coach as well um so you kind of wouldn't he'd never like as i wouldn't kind of promote kind of quick fix like oh, I'll drop like 30 pounds in like four weeks like it's just not good but this diet that um he was talking about kind of kept the training kept the high protein so you're not going to lose a lot of muscle but it kind of like stripped out a lot of carbs and fat um it did go low calorie but if you're not going to go if you, it's not like a prolonged thing like literally four or five weeks and you're still tapering down as well um so i'm doing it um just to get the experience uh, it's going to be difficult especially on the last two weeks because then calories are going to be really low i'm going to keep updating you on here on the check-in so make sure you subscribe um and turn on video notifications or whatever is on youtube uh, to keep getting the updates but yeah it's going to be it's going to be a uh, i'm going to say hard but it's going to be an interesting um four weeks um period where i am going to be cutting calories quite severely so this week uh, it's gone down to 1900 um again this is all based on me so don't kind of think that you can just kind of copy this even if you're the same way because we're with different body compositions different workout types um i'm doing a lot of steps that kind of stuff so if you if you need help dieting then honestly like the best way to do it is to get a coach like even if it's not me obviously i offer online fitness coaching i work with people around the world to help them lose weight and look great um and i love to do that and i love to help people it's the reason why i got into why i started hair fit the business so that's honestly the best way but that's because it's a personalized approach and i can create like the specific diet for you specific work plan for you because everyone's got different goals everyone's a little bit different um don't just kind of go on the internet and kind of find anything because that's where people can end up in trouble because you can literally like you could just cut calories but you just kind of looking like skinny like you don't wanna, what was it the um like a prisoner of camp uh prisoner of war kind of person you know you just scraggly like that's not the aim is it you want to get lean you want to be muscly you want to build that muscle in but lose the body fat so you need to do it the right way but anyway i was talking about um my goals at the minute calorie wise so they are now my fitness pal always the go-to so yeah i dropped down to 1904 calories 1904 
protein is staying high, 220 grams. Um, that is, I think it's just over um, a pound um, per, a gram per pound of body weight. Uh, fats dropped to 48 and carbs down at 148. And I've um, I put like a, a plan into my fitness pal. So what I like to do is just kind of set up a Monday to Friday kind of schedule um, of eating kind of like the same meals. It makes it easier to buy the food. It makes it easier to prepare the food. And I'm not massively fussed about eating similar meals through the week. It's just, it's food. Um, so I was putting that in today and honestly, like it doesn't even look that bad. Like cutting down to 1900 calories. Like I did this for the photo shoot back in June uh, last year. And I think the lowest, I think we might have got even lower. I think I got a little bit lower on like the last week or two, but for probably like the two months leading up to it, we was on like calories like 1900. And I remember it being like quite difficult to like find food. Whereas now I think now that I've shifted to putting in kind of better foods. Um, so I was very much like, if you fit your macros, so I think I was still fitting in like pizza and jumping cakes or stuff like that and that's always going to wreck your calories because yes it will fit in there but it's not going to fill you up um it's going to burn off really quick and it's going to make you feel like crap when you uh hit the gym because there's not going to be that solid energy there so i think now that i've kind of adjusted that and i've built in these healthier habits into my diet 1900 calories just isn't that bad at all really um so yeah i'm going to keep you updated on there if you don't already follow me on instagram it's at hairfit with an underscore afterwards because someone's got well, someone I've got a hair fit, but uh, it's not allowed. I can't allow. I'm not allowed to get it. So at hair fit underscore. Um, I keep everyone updated on my stories there with little hints and tips. Do plenty of posts on there. I'm doing a, a weekly check in as well, showing you kind of like the pictures, like the before and afterwards. I've got the two week ago picture, and I'm just going to keep updating it with like the new check in photo every Sunday. So go definitely go check that out on at hair fit on Instagram. Um, but yeah, overall, uh, it's been a good week. I'm just happy that my back's repaired and recovered and I'm now getting back in the gym and being able to hit that side of it again. This week, obviously, I've got the new calories and macros, set up the meal plan for me. Um, that's going to be all good, 100% sticking to that this week. I'm looking forward to seeing what it's going to do for next weekend. Workout-wise, I'm just getting back into the gym, building the weights back up. That was always the aim with this new workout program. Got a little bit put behind with the back. And steps. Steps is happening this week now. So I need to work out where I'm going to put them in my day because I work out in the morning, so at like half eight, whereas a lot, a lot of people will do is like go out for a quick walk first thing in the morning, which for me, I get up, do like a bit of messaging and emails and all that kind of stuff. Then I go to the gym, so I can't really fit it in there and so I, th I need to I need to get like a time because I'm sure you'll find if you don't give yourself a specific time to do something then often it gets put back, put back, put back and before you know it it's night time and you go to bed and you're like oh I meant to do that today. So I need to decide a proper time to get the steps in that's going to fit in with my day and make sure I do them. Um, so that's something I need to do. But yeah, I look forward to seeing what the results of 1900 calories um, will do on my body in the space of a week. And next week, I think I'm looking at quitting again, which is crazy. I know, um, but it's an aggressive approach. Um, so, yeah, let's just see how things go. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you are getting some information and things from these videos and seeing my kind of check-in and my progress and my struggles. Uh, remember to subscribe to see more, and I will speak to you later. Oh, give it a thumbs up too if you're watching this far. Thanks. Bye.